Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mitsubishi Pajero 2. They are divided into full-fledged super select and simple four-wheel drive, that is, hardwired part-time. Each transfer case is available in two versions, large and small, for their respective gearboxes and rear axles. Simpler in design part-time four-wheel drive nevertheless doesn't differ in absolute buglessness because here pneumatics are in charge of connecting the front axle half axle, excluding rare budgetary purely mechanical versions. The system is not very complicated. Vacuum from a vacuum pump on diesel engines or from a collector through a vacuum tank and a pair of actuators is fed to the actuator. Supervises all a pair of sensors and a control unit. However, there are enough failures on older machines. If the four-wheel drive light flashes on the move, it always means that something is going wrong. Super Selected has a more complex device, there are more sensors and actuators, and many times over. It also has a center differential, which means that in addition to modes with the drive to the rear axle, in a simple and low-rate all-wheel drive mode, it also known how to execute permanent all-wheel drive with the center lock. Standard troubles of all age-old car handouts are chain stretching, bearing damage and oil leaks. Plus, on all Pajero transfer keys, a lot of trouble is delivered by the sensors of the all-wheel drive system. In addition to controlling the rows and locks in the transfer cases, on the Pajero you can also control the rear axle locks, which, yes, you guessed it, there are several options. There is a basic version without locking at all, there is an automatic version with the viscous LSD clutch, and there is also a rigid pneumatic one. Naturally, the resource of the viscous coupling is finite, and the pneumatics are simply buggy, so the locking efficiency decreases with age. All systems should be checked upon purchase. If the car seems to be driving, but something is blinking on the tidy or doesn't immediately connect, then the cost of restoration can be ridiculously high. After all, you don't need a Jeep without all-wheel drive, do you? With them too, not everything is so simple. The mechanics of the V5 M31 series is considered to be unambiguously reliable. It is aggregated with a large, more durable transfer case and basically its problems are reduced to the loss of oil and wear of the synchronizers of the second and third gears. It was used nominally with 2.8 and 3.5 engines, but it also occurs with 3.0 engines on restyled cars. The manual transmission of the V5 MT1 series is slightly weaker, more prone to oil leaks, sometimes it loses synchronizers and clutches of frequently used gears, but rarely completely breaks down. It was used with motors 2.5 and 3.0 before and after restyling. On older machines it may also have problems with bearings and shafts, but this is more likely a consequence of oil loss in water ingress than a purely resource problem. This box is aggregated with a small resdatka, and with 3.0 motor its resource may already be too small. The V5M21 manual transmission comes across only with 2.4 and 2.6 petrol 4-cylinder engines, and even their low powers doesn't withstand. Damage to bearings and shaft is common, but machines with these motors are generally rare and generally at their maximum age. Combines only with a small resdatka, which, which, with which such motors doesn't threaten anything. Probably you cannot say that there are a lot of automatic transmission variations on Pajero. The 4-speed icing AW0372L can be found mainly on the simplest modifications of the Pajero 2 wagon with the 2.4 engine until 1994, as well as on the American Montero 2, and even with 2.0 V6 engines, which are clearly redundant for it. The automatic transmission is well known from Toyota. It was installed on Hulux pickups with 2.0 2.7 engines, as well as Cresta, Mark II, Chaser, Crown and many other models with engines of a similar size. And she has proven herself perfectly. If you remember to change the oil and not overheat, it can travel several hundred thousand kilometers. The resource is limited mainly by the wear of the clutches, less often due to the loss of pressure by the pistons or weld body seats. It rarely gets dirty, even with the standard oil change interval every 60,000, since blocking of the gas turbine engine rarely works and wears out little. The automatic transmission of the Icin AE3043 AW3070LE series is no less reliable. These boxes are perhaps more reliable than the machines themselves. They were already installed with all motors until 2006, and this is a really excellent automatic. The boxes were also used on Toyota and Lexus, in particular on the GS430 LX470, Cressida, all the same crown, Mark II and others. Failure again most likely after an unrealistic run or serious overheating. It is extremely difficult to somehow disable it, it can withstand loads and is more serious than even 3.5 motors can create. The automatic transmissions developed by Mitsubishi itself of the V4 A51 series are no longer as reliable as the ISINs of the old series, but still quite strong. Before run on 200,000 km, it almost always passes, more is no longer effect. In addition to purely resource constraints, there are electrical problems with sensors and wiring and contamination of the weld body. 
The resource of blocking linings for gas turbine engines is large, but hardly more than 250-300 thousand kilometers. They are found mainly with a 2.8 diesel engine and on cars produced after 2000s with an Indian assembled 3.5 engine. The 5-speed V5 A51 is made on the basis of a 4-stage and is also a development of Mitsubishi itself. In terms of reliability, it is not inferior to its predecessor, but the car with it is noticeably more economical. It was used mainly on cars with 3.5 release engines after 1998 and after the termination of the Pajero 2 production in Japan, on original assembly machines with all motors. In addition to the Gaslin 2.4 series 4J64, 3.06G72, 3.56G74 in diesel 2.5, 4D56, older Gaslin engines 2.6, 4G54, and new turbo diesel 2.8 series 4M40, as well as several new options for the 6G74 engine were added. Gasoline inline fours on the Pajero 2 are rare and basically it is the cute old 2.4, 4G64 in different versions. The power supply system is always distributed injection, reliability is at the level of the one of the best engines of the 4G63 series. In fact, it differs only in the diameter of the cylinder and the piston stroke. On a heavy CUV, power is no longer enough, but nevertheless the engine can cover several hundred thousand kilometers without serious problems. Unfortunately, cars with this unit are mostly versions before the intermediate freestyling of the 94 years. This means that the oldest worn out and with leaf spring rear suspension, that is not the best option in principle. The extreme Laria 2.6 4G54 engine is found most often in the carburetor version on cars from 1990-1992 and then sometimes in the version with distributed injection. It is considered phenomenally reliable and indestructible, but alas, it will not work to check. This is a real rarity, almost a legend, because it was on this engine that Mitsubishi first tested the combination of electronic injection and turbocharging, however, in this version it was not installed on the Pajero 2. The title of the most common engines is held by the V6 3.0 of the 6J72 series in two guises. Until 1997, the SOHC version with 12 valves and after also SOHC but with 24 valves. The power supply and ignition systems are also different. 12 valve engines have an ignition system with a coil and a distributor. 24 valve engines have a more traditional ignition module. The motors are extremely reliable, but the block is cast iron, the piston group is moderately conservative. The timing belt is driven by a belt, and the belt is thick and of high quality. On older machines, problems are often associated with the gradual caulking of the piston group due to oil leaks through the valve seals, because the crankcase ventilation system is far from perfect and requires regular maintenance. If you keep the oil level at the upper limit, then the second drawback is the form of the vulnerability of the crankshaft during oil stiration is also not a problem, but for off-road driving it is recommended to even exceed the maximum level by another liter. Problems with the crankshaft pulley are also encountered. Unfortunately, if the key is inaccurately tightened and the oil sprocket is used in the timing drive, it cuts off and the drive pulley of the auxiliary units rotate on the shaft. To prevent such troubles, it is recommended to change the pulley bolt with a new one every time the belt is replaced and the crankshaft start at the slight loosening. By the way, do not count on 120,000 km of the belt resource. In our conditions, it is recommended to change it every 60-90,000 maximum and with the replacement of all rollers, checking the operation of the hydraulic tensioner and replacing the front cover oil seals. The engine cooling system was initially weak and over the years its capabilities have been improved. Radiators are easily clogged, especially on air-conditioned versions, where the sandwich from the radiators gets dirty not only from the outside but also from the inside. The pump resource is very modest, but the reliability of the hoses is also questionable. And the viscous coupling with the fan is also far from eternal, the fan simply loses its plates. The viscous coupling not only verges but sometimes starts to slip due to the loss of oil. More powerful motors of the 3.5 6G74 series initially with an ignition system with a module without a distributor are otherwise similar to the 6G72 series. After 1997 you can find a DOHC version of this engine with a capacity of over 200 horsepower and the MIVEC version with the face regulators was put on the Evolution version. On Japanese cars of later releases you can even find a GDI version of the engine which is equipped with direct injection of the first generation and which should be avoided due to the dampness of the structure. Diesel engines are mainly represented by the older 2.5 series 4D56 engine which is considered not the most successful Mitsubishi unit and the more recent 4M40 series engine from commercial vehicles with a volume of 2.8 liters. The later turned out to be much more reliable but unfortunately more expensive when restored. The design proven over the years was not adapted to the increase in power. 99 horsepower version can still be considered relatively strong, but more and more powerful options under prolonged load receive a load damage. 
cracks in the cylinder head and cylinder block, camshaft breakdowns, cylinder burnout. Even the timing belt on a Dazzle 2.5 is characterized by an unstable service life. It often tears with a child run of 30-40 thousand kilometers due to problems with the lubrication of camshafts and breakdowns of rockers. Before 1994, fuel equipment was considered frankly unreliable. After that it was much better, but not perfect. In general, this is the case when you can say an une unequivocal no with a clear conscience. After 1994, another engine for the Pajero 2 appeared. This is 2.8 liter 4M40 series. The series of diesel engines, unlike the very old 4D56, has a seriously reinforced structure and a sufficiently reliable chain is used in the timing drive. The motor easily tolerates the modes in which the good old 4D56 gave up, continues driving at high speed and long full load when driving uphill and with the trailer. If you need a diesel engine, then you already know how much it will be. On this information about the problems of Mitsubishi Pajero 2 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.